in this lesson we will learn linear search linear search is a very simple searching algorithm in this technique we compare the elements of the array one by one with the elements that we are looking for if the elements that we are looking for is present in the array then the search is successful otherwise not next we learn how to search an array using linear search here we take an array a with five elements and the elements are stored in the indices from 0 to 4 now we search this array for the element 5 first we compare item with 7 which is at index 0 is 5 found no so we check for the next element now we compare item with the element at index 1 each 5 found no we check for the next element we compare item with the element at index 2 each 5 found no we check for the next element now we compare item with the element at index 3 each 5 found no we check for the next element now we compare item with the element at index 4 is 5 found yes we find it at index 4 and the search is successful next we learn how to write the algorithm here a is an array with n elements and item is a given item of information the algorithm finds the location of the item in a or returns minus 1 if the search is unsuccessful since the array has n elements so here we write a loop that runs from 0 to n minus 1. Then we check ith element is equal to item or not. If the match is found, then we return i. And if the match is not found, then we return some negative value to indicate search is unsuccessful. Here we return minus 1. And then algorithm ended here. Next we learn how to calculate the complexity of linear search algorithm. The complexity of linear search algorithm is measured by the number of comparison required to find the item in the array. In the best case, the item that we are looking for is at the first position of the array. For example, this is an array and we are looking for the item 7. First we compare item with the element at index 0 and the match is found. We need only one comparison. So the best case complexity is big O of 1. In the worst case, the item that we are looking for is at the end of the array. For example, this is an array and we are looking for the item 5. In this case, we require 5 comparison. So if the array has n elements, then we require n comparisons. So the worst case complexity is big O of n. In the average case, the item is at any position that we are looking for. In this case, average number of comparisons required to find the location of item, which is approximately equal to half the number of elements in the array. If the array has n elements, then we require n by 2 comparisons. So average case complexity is big O of n. Ok, next we write a code of linear search in C programming. So let's move to the coding section. Here we write a program that will take 5 integers as input and then search for an item entered by user. So let's start. First I'm going to declare variables that we use in our program. We need an array to store input numbers. Int a and the size of the array is 5. We need two other variables i and item. Next I am going to ask user to enter array elements. Printf please enter array elements. To read the array elements that the user enter we use here a scanf function. Since we read more than one element so we need here a for loop for i equal to 0 i less than 5 and then i plus plus then we use here a scanf function person d and then m person a of i next i am going to ask user to enter item that you are looking for 
printf enter item then scanf person d and ampersand item next we call a function named linear search that will perform the search operation here we pass three parameters first one is array name second one is number of elements and the last one is item next we define this function since this function returns an integer value so I am going to write here int linear search first element that we pass to this function is array name array name means here we actually pass the base address of the array to hold the address we need a pointer variable so I am going to write here int star a next parameter is an integer value so I am going to write here int n and then int item inside this function I am going to declare a variable int i next we write here a loop that runs from 0 to n minus 1 for i equal to 0 i less equal to n minus 1 and then i plus plus next we need to check the element at i index is equal to item or not so I am going to write here if a of i equal to equal to item if this condition is true then we return i otherwise we return minus 1 function definition is completed let's back to the main function since this function returns an integer value so we need to store that value to a variable I'm going to write here i equal to linear search next we check the value of i if i equal to equal to minus 1 if i equal to minus 1 then item is not found printf item not found else printf item is at index percent d and here we refer i the last thing that we need to do we need to declare the function prototype so I am going to copy it and paste here give here a semicolon our program is completed let us check the output compile and run please enter array elements I am going to enter 7 6 2 3 and 5 press enter enter item I am going to enter 5 and it print item is at index 4 ok run it again enter elements I am going to enter 7 6 2 3 and 5 enter item I am going to enter 1 and it print item not found this is it hope you understand if you like this video please share it and click on the like button Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos. These are some other videos of our channel. To watch this video just click on it and enjoy the video. Get in touch with us. Visit us on YouTube at youtube.com slash slide hunt. Join us on Facebook at facebook.com slash slide hunt. Follow us on Twitter and Google+.